I'm Benjita, a researcher with uh, ILRI working on innovation. And we talked a bit about, you know, innovation approaches that have been tried in the FAP project today. We did uh, try to get some collective learning. What we have seen is that the three countries have tried fairly diverse approaches and processes in, 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 in what we would call a very broad innovation approaches. What is evident is that they seem to work when there is a good balance between technologies and the process and also when there are good market opportunities and when they are hybridized with a value chain approach. And but what we have also realized is that it's a quite a complex and facilitation intensive process and who brokers this process, the linkages, is, is a very key issue which influences outcomes and sustainability. And also there would be a number of trade-offs in, in depending on who facilitates it. It's a broad set of skills that are needed to facilitate this process and, uh, well, which are quite difficult to come by. You don't see too many people around with those kinds of skills. And what's clear also is that for a stakeholder platform to be effective, you need very clear objectives, very concrete activities, so that the actors who need to be involved can clearly see their role, the incentives for them, yeah, what's in it for them, and therefore develop the commitment to participate in that process. One issue we thought which was a bit of a shortcoming was the whole policy advocacy or influencing. I mean, how do you ensure you reach out to policy or decision makers at higher levels that would enable scaling up and out and targeting of communities and households so that the benefits of the process are captured by these by the poor and women and not captured by the elite that's another issue and we've been wondering what the role of international research centers are you know in this kinds of process and how we can empower and facilitate the national systems to be able to take on these kinds of roles one other issue that comes up very significantly is monitoring and evaluation. We talk about innovation capacity building as an objective of projects like these, but what exactly do we mean by innovation capacity? How do you define it? How do you measure it? How do you track changes in that? Yeah. And then what we have seen is that in these projects, because of these projects, there's a number of outcomes which are unintended and go beyond the geographical and thematic scope of the project. How do you capture those benefits? A big research agenda in terms of I mean, developing monitoring and evaluation mechanisms and frameworks for projects which follow innovation approaches. And then the big question is, I mean, these days we seem to think that this approach is a panacea for all kinds of problems, but do we know enough about it? Do we think we can apply it everywhere or do we have to be very selective about where we can try these approaches? I'm not sure if we have given enough thought to that. So that's a lot of food for thought and research, I guess. Thank you.